Hi, Suzanne here. I have a yoga sequence for you that incorporates a lot of stretching. And I have some blocks and a strap handy as well. So if you have about 25, 30 minutes, come on on your mat. So we're gonna start standing. Find yourself somewhere just comfortably standing on your mat. Do a few rounds of rocking back and forth on your heels, on your toes. And then connect in. So just as if you were connecting into the earth, find yourself rooted down. Find an even balance in your feet. Maybe go side to side, back to front again. Engage your kneecaps and your quads. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, down your back. Bring your palms open. Have your gaze just neutral out in front of you, but imagine there was a string pulling your neck up long and strong. You can close your eyes if you'd like or soften your gaze, but let's do a few rounds of breathing in, big breath, like you're pulling it all the way up from your feet. Hold, suspend that breath, and then sigh it out. Natural breath. Just breathe in, breathe out. So let's do that again. Another big inhale, pulling that breath up and in. Feel it coming up all the way up. Let it go. Soften the shoulders. Feel it all come back down. Your natural breath. Relax your jaw. Relax your face. Another big inhale. One more time. Big inhale. Pull that breath. Be the biggest breath of your day. And hold. Hold. Sigh it out. Beautiful. Your hands down by your side, softening your knees. Take an inhale. Sweeping, opening up the arms, keeping the arm fingers opened up as well, giving them a stretch. Gaze can come up or keep it neutral. And then palms will come right back down center line. I like to sometimes bring my knees into it. If I want a sense of more stability, I will widen my feet. So come back down, big inhale, big breath, and then exhale, slowly bring that down. Let your weight come more in your heels, feel the stability in your feet. Another inhale, sweep up, take up a lot of space, and then slowly bring that right back down. Let's do that one last time. Big inhale, because it really feels good. center. Bring your arms up overhead. Let your palms face away and then slow motion. Bring back down. So as we go through some of these stretches, if you're really tight, sigh it out for the first few rounds of breath and then just try to keep your breath it's almost like the ocean breath. So you're not clenching on the teeth or in the jawline. You're like you're fogging up a mirror. You can breathe in, breathe out with the mouth closed. It doesn't have to be too tightly sealed. Just this softening closing in the mouth. It's opening up on the sides of the body. So one hand on the hips, the other arm up overhead. So the more you'll notice this arm is pulled back towards the ear, the more intense the stretch is. You want to start out slowly and feel as if you were reaching, reaching over. Trying to grab something. Soften the knees. And then let's 
switch sides. You might notice one side's a little bit stiffer than the other and that's okay. So bring some fluidity into that. So just as if a tree was swaying side to side, go left to right. Not forcing anything, just opening up that space. Next time you're on a side, stay there. Other side. Beautiful. Take your hands, place them on your shoulders. Do a few picking up the feet, bending in the knees. Place the feet back down. Take that stance as wide as you comfortably want to. Do some shoulder rotations. So hands gently on the shoulders. Elbows up, elbows back. Start your circle small. Work your way into it. Notice when you bring your elbows down, it works in the neck. Gives it a nice stretch. Take that inhale as you go up. And exhale as you go down. Two more rounds here. direction. Do a couple circle rotations. One more. Release that down. Open and close the fingers. Again, pick up the feet, bend the knees, shake out the wrists. So one of my favorite poses to do for this closing, closing we have in our chest, in our shoulder bone, shoulders, and on our collarbone is this rounded sensation. So this opens up that space. So comfortable stance. Bring your palms together, elbows bent, about shoulder height. And on an inhale, and soften your knees. Like you're opening up a window. Gaze can come up. Bring those elbows back. And then slowly, chin towards chest, palms back together. I'll show you a side view of this. I like to soften in my knees. So I open up. Just feel that point of tension and slowly close it back down. And even round in the back. Couple more rotations. Feel that opening, expansion, contracting, and closing. On this next rotation, when you open, extend your arms out. Bring your palms up. So strong arms, like someone was pulling you in two directions. Big breath in. Bring that exhale, slowly rotate the palms down. So again, another big inhale. And then as you exhale, slow motion. Take your time bringing your arms, like someone was keeping you from bringing your arms back down to your side, real slow. Before we go into any hamstring work, I'd like you to connect in with your breath again. Find your mountain pose and notice the sensation if it's different from when you first connected in and breathing. So just your natural channel of breath, try to keep your mouth closed, but notice the inhales and notice the exhales and 
notice how your body is feeling just from opening up some spaces. Close your eyes if you're comfortable or soften your gaze. But let's just stand here and breathe. when I'm working on the hamstrings or anything incorporated with the lower back. And I always like to start in the high position. You can change it out if you need to. You can use some books if you do not have blocks. Just something about a foot in front of you. Your feet are a little bit, I like to have them about hip distance apart. So we're gonna do this hinging at the hip. So you wanna imagine that right here at the hip, it's like a door hinge. So you wanna flat back and then it's bend in the knees as much as possible when you hinge. So first when we hinge, we're gonna have our hands not even catch the blocks, they're gonna catch our thighs. Put your weight evenly distributed in your feet. On a big inhale, sweep up. And then on an exhale, you're gonna hinge your arms come back down and you're going to have your hands catch your thighs. Gaze comes down. So imagine there was a string, the crown of my head pulling me across the other side. Elbows are by your side. So you feel that elongating in the neck. Slowly open up the arms as we inhale, sweep back up. Arms right back down by your side. This time I'm gonna let my hands catch the blocks. So inhale, sweep up. Soften your knees as you exhale, hinge and fold. Flat back. Hands can catch the block. I have mine in the high position. You might need to I'll, you might need to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to bring them back a little bit. Gaze is down. This gives you a nice stretch in the back of the neck, all the way down the spine. You'll start to feel that in your hamstrings, all the way back of the knee, the calves. One more inhale. And exhale, fold. And again, I'm still softening my knees. Soften the knees really good as you open up the arms again. And taking up space. And then slowly bringing them back down. So I'm feeling I can adjust my blocks to a little bit lower. You can do that or stay where you're at. Take an inhale, sweep up. Big inhale, nice big exhale. I'm gonna sigh it out this time. I take that over. And then hands on the blocks. Gaze at the floor. Nice stretch in the neck, on the back. Feel that all the way down to the calves. Breathing in, engaging the core, belly button in towards spine. One more breath. Exhale, fold. And then softening the knees again as much as you need to as you open back up. Arms right back down. And I adjust my blocks again to a lower position. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, take that over into a full. Inhale, flat back. Breathing in, breathing out. Good stretch. One more breath. 
release that down. So gently come down onto your knees. Just take the blocks over to the side. Do a few rounds of cat-cow, tuck the toes, soften the belly, soften the elbows. You're about shoulder, I'm sorry, hip distance apart and your wrists are stacked over your shoulders. Gaze can come up, let that belly sway in. Tops of the feet press down, belly button in towards spine, chin towards chest, pulling that belly button in. Back into cow. Big inhale. Big exhale, back into cat. Go ahead and extend one leg back. Always like to give a good calf stretch. Release, other side. So come on down to seated. You can bring a block if you'd like to prop up your hips, which always helps. I encourage that as much as possible so you're not straining and being too uncomfortable. Kind of want to find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Let's twist out a little bit. So wringing out the body, the torso area. And inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, take one hand, opposite hand to opposite knee, and this other hand will come back behind, kind of tripoding back behind. Gaze can just stay neutral, or you can take it over that opposite shoulder. Staying long and tall in the neck and the spine. That's much more important than how deep you twist. So you really get the benefits of that twist and not compromise along the spine. Slowly come back. Another big inhale. Sweep up. Exhale, other side. if you had it. Bring the soles of the feet together. And the rocking side to side. So where, how much, how, fur, how, how close you bring your heels into your body is your own personal choice in this. The more and close it is, the more you're opening up in the hips. If you want to take them out a little bit wider and still warming up, go ahead and do so. Hands will be on your ankles. Big inhale and then exhale, you'll do that hinging. So see how, where you can come, where you're feeling that pull on that lower back. And then just hang out there for a few breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. This is opening up again on the hips area. Also, another thing that comes into handy with your blocks, or books, is bringing, if your knees are upright, bringing them right underneath as support. So you can inhale and exhale hinge, that same hinging locate, hinging sensation that we did earlier. Breathe in, breathe out. This really connects in with your low back. Every exhale, feel that area soften. And then when you feel, you can just at your edge where you're not going to go any deeper and you don't want to go any deeper. You can just fold, soften the shoulders, bring the head in, release and let go. Slow. 
slowly bring yourself back up right you have the blocks bring them to the side so you're going to take yourself to your comfortable side straddle and again this is different for everyone depending on how tight you are in the hamstrings and the lower back you do not want to force this you want to soften in the knees as much as possible so you can really get the benefits of this and not bringing it into an incredibly intensive, uncomfortable pose. So we're gonna start first by turning over one leg. This is where I like to use the aid of a strap to catch. So I'm gonna take it and place it somewhere on my arch of my foot. I'm stand, sitting upright, tall, big inhale and exhale. I'll turn my torso towards that leg one hand on the inside, one on the out. Take another inhale. And in an exhale, I'm going to again hinge and hold. So there's, it's not a race to get all the way down. It's really meeting your body where it's at because you're gonna feel the sensation pull on the inside of your opposite leg and also on the leg that you're folding over as well as getting the benefits of a twist. So just meet yourself where you're at, breathe in, Breathe out and take your gaze down so you're not straining in the neck. You'll feel with every exhale this softening, this softening effect kind of comes down as if gravity was assisting you, bringing you closer. More breaths here, don't worry, you got this. Take an inhale, engage the core, exhale, come up. So go ahead, take that strap if you're using it on the other foot. So turning over that torso one hand on the inside one on the out big inhale nice big exhale fold and again not hinging not going over to the extent of where it's causing you too much discomfort and pain find your edge more breath here. Inhale, back up to center. Remove the strap. Take your hands underneath your knees and let's just kind of shake it out. Windshield wiper side to side. That can be a bit intense. So congratu congratulate yourself for just even doing that. And we're gonna go forward in our straddle. So again, find that comfortable straddle, bringing the fleshy bits away from the bottom. I'm gonna bring my blocks over, or you can use a bolster or a pillow, anything you have in handy. Big inhale, arms up and exhale, hinge. So I like to soften my feet. The more my heel toes are pulled back, heel pressed away, the more intense this can be. So if that's too much, I have very tight hamstrings, so that can be a little bit tight for me. I'll soften my feet. I'm gonna try to go a little bit pull. I'm gonna try a little bit pulling the toes back. So I meet that point of my resistance, that edge, and then I'm gonna breathe in, breathe out here. Allow that breath into the back of the body. 
and you just personalize it for you. If it's too intense as the toes are pulled back, release them. Soften in the knees, place a blanket underneath if it's really tight. Make it where you can breathe in, breathe out to release and let go in a space without forcing anything. more breaths here. Slowly come up out of it. Nice work. There's hands underneath. Let's bring ourselves ourselves to come down to our backs. We're going to take that slow though. Bring your toes up, heels pressed away, about hip distance apart, arms down by your side, and slow motion. Engage your core, belly button in towards spine. Don't worry, you got this. Engage. Slowly, all the way down. Beautiful work. Once you're down, keep the knees bent. Bring them about mat distance apart. Then she'll wipe her side to side. You can float the knees in towards the chest. Bring them into a gentle circle. Massage all along the spine and the back. And maybe other direction. So one of my other favorite poses, and you don't need to use the wall for this, is a waterfall pose. I like to use a block. I'll use it up underneath. I'll pick up my hips, place it underneath my sacrum, extend the legs up towards the ceiling, soften the shoulders. If your shoulders are open enough, you can cactus your arms. Breathe in, breathe out into this, allowing the blood flow to come back to the feet. Might be a good opportunity. You've been standing or walking. Circle out the ankles. Any other direction. And just hang out here. Feeling that wonderful sensation, the legs extended up, beautiful lymphatic system draining back. out here as long as you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Bring my feet back down. Put the block, the bolster away. One more time. Knees in. Massage along the spine. And extend the legs out, point the toes, interlace the fingers if it's comfortable for your shoulders, take them overhead. Big inhale. Like you're being pulled in two directions. Nice big exhale, side out. So you can just stay here in starfish pose if that's comfortable. I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together so my knees are out wide. Placing one hand if you'd like on your heart, one on your belly. 
close your eyes or soften your gaze and just let it go. Start to bring some small movements back into your body. Circling out the wrists, circling out the ankles, and taking the head left to right. You put a bend in your knees, roll onto your favorite side in fetal position. your palm down, bring yourself to a comfortable seated position, bring your hands in prayer position in front of your heart, close your eyes or soften your gaze, and allow yourself to fill up with gratitude for something in your life, nothing is too small, take a moment, feel that gratitude in your heart. yourself for taking the time just to give some stretching and breath work into your amazing body. Let's take one more inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, palms right back down at your heart. So thank you for joining me. Until next time, take care.